Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to jump on and sort of share some um, discoveries I've sort of been looking at with the um, cards and the stars and the planetary aspects for the today, crossing over today and a little bit for tomorrow because uh, I just sort of thought, oh, this is nice to share this stuff. And so um, I'm going to, when I talk about the word aspects, that's just a sort of technical term for planetary movements. And for today, I'm just going to look at the chart. Um, we have the um, moon has been in Cancer. We had, um, we're heading towards the equinox, but I'm going to talk about that on another video um, in the next couple of days. However, because we're only, the, I'm making this on the 19th, but it's for the energy for the 20th and wherever you are in the world, because I'm, I'm here in Brisbane, but it's just sort of energetically works. There's always an overhang with a lot of these planetary things. It's not, as I say all the time, it's not like cut off. Um, and this you can get a little bit um, particular with it if you're doing spell work or wanting to sort of sign documents and things um, but just in a general in the general sense with the way I'm working with it at the moment um, we're just sort of I'm just sort of thinking I'm talking from here in Brisbane and um, whilst with the equinox I'm going to talk about later um, on another video you'll be heading, and if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll be um, heading away from summer. And I'm here in Brisbane and I'm, it's been a lovely day and it's, I'm thinking surf and sun. So the moon, back is what I was saying again, I've got a little bit all over the place. It's just been one of those days for me because the weather's just changed like a click of a finger and I've gone from jumpers to t-shirts and out walking and um, just the energy is just, um, just different, it's so good. But the moon is moving from, we've had the moon in Gemini when there's all this sort of overthinking and stuff which I talked about in the last video and then the moon went into Cancer which is a water sign and with the sun right up until the sun moves into Libra which will be an air sign, we've had the sun in Virgo which is an earth sign. So hopefully we've you've been having a bit of a reprieve from all that mind stress and you've been able to settle down from the whirlpool of feelings and enjoy some time out with people that you know like and trust and at some time today on the 20th the moon will move into leo which is a fire sign which could have you feeling a little bit um Maybe you've missed some opportunities and might get a little bit, or maybe a bit down about that, but not too down because on, a, um, because you'll be able to sort of be able to move on for it because the moon, um, moon's just there and it does sort of affect our emotions a little bit and it's about being aware, but life goes on moon. We love the moon if we understand the moon. And where the planets are we can understand ourselves and other people well what I wanted to talk about today on a side note is Venus Venus the planet named after the goddess of love not only does it's about love of people but love of all things nice I'll just move these out of the way for a little bit and here we have beautiful Venus um, and she's here in Virgo in the sixth house which is all about sustainability and she's thinking and counting and doing that but at the moment you'll hear if you're reading astrology you'll hear the word trine but trine just means she's talking to and if you have a look at these you've got these lovely birds talking sharing and then when I first saw this it reminded me of the doves of peace so it's all very amicable and she's having this chat with Uranus, named after the Sky God. And he's linked to freedom and unusual choices and risks. And Venus is here 
sitting with the knowledge um, that all her needs will be met. And I'm going to show you in the tarot with that because here she is. This is Venus. That was the talking sex doll stuff. And then we have Uranus named after the god of the sky he's got a change and wanting things to sudden change and he's in Taurus which is the second house of our resources and what's important to us and what we value um, and Venus also rules is um, Taurus so she's quite comfortable with all of this but here she is here and she's just sort of sitting there lovely as ever knowing that all her needs are met and she's has everything she's comfortable all her needs are met and this has this knowledge of it and she's talking to the fool who is ruled by air and the planet uranus um who's a free spirit who's willing to go wherever the wind takes him and these two can create an energy that can have us feeling confident that and and so we should we need reprieves from um what the planets some of the planets are doing and it's it's nice to think well why not as i talked the other day have a little splurge because venus likes nice things and so these two create this energy that life is good we can focus on the good things and we can go with the flow and we also have getting back to the moon we have the moon entering leo with these cards i hope you can see them all right and the moon's, moon's moving into leo and in the beginning there's a little bit of heavy energy when the moon first goes into to Leo depends on what uh, where you are in the world and what time of day is it if it's at night you're asleep anyway so but you can just sort of feel you might wake up and feel a bit lethargic for a short time because um, she's sort of squaring the sand and, and she, she sort of needs some fresh air there's Saturn in the background <laughs> And she wants to be able to distance herself a little bit from that and she wants to have affection and she wants to have deep heartfelt conversations and play and that's how these lot are all playing out at the moment with these two planets and then the moon going into to leo and the um lovely conversations get out in nature but they're all actually out in nature. But there's this lovely yellow in these cards of um, just enjoying and going with the flow, like there was with this sixth house card here. That's a lovely card. And um, know what we value, go with the flow. But with the moon in Leo, it asks us, and I shuffled these before, um, can we find ways to express ourselves? Can we um, find ways to express ourselves creatively? And what resources do we come with to do this? And that's what I thought I'd ask the cards because that's what I sort of felt they were sort of asking me. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of a backdrop for today, um, which will be... Um, the 20th of September. I'll we'll just cut them into three. And see what we get. Well, I want them to stay stuck there, but it's going to go on the bottom. And I'm just going to do a quick put them in. Oh, they turned over. What have we got flipping over with us? Oh! Getting on with things, connecting with other people, deciding what you want. And here we have the nine of coins. And I think we had that in a read the other day. And we have everything that we need to maybe talk to other people that we know are creative. 
maybe um, decide what we want to do and trust that we can do it with the uh, chariot there and go with the flow. I seem to be getting um, all our needs will be met sort of trust but it, it's not sending the message to just go out and throw your money to the wind as Uranus would want you to because there are some aspects coming up and later in the week which um, I'll talk about in another video but anyway I'm gonna have another go at this and I'm gonna just take it from the top so what do we come with what resources do we have to be able to express ourselves um, easily today We have the resources of knowing that we are on the wheel of life and that life goes up and life goes down. And even though there's conflict and challenges, we know that we can look to the future with an, optim with an optimism of knowing that um, our, we can create positive thoughts in our mind and we can also be of help and assistance to other people because that's also what helps us on our journey um, with that. So we come with these resources that we can um, overcome any conflict that we have or doubts that we have about being um, able to express ourselves creatively and just meditate and go into ourselves and go into the flow with that because that's what will help overcome any you know those self-doubts oh I can't draw or I can't sketch I can't do this I can't do that that inner conflict stuff will just turn you back on it get yourself a nice drink of what you like be it water juice a wine or whatever takes your fancy coffee and just go I'm gonna sit and go with the flow and think positively and do this because you can't you have all this inside of you regardless of what's going up and up and down in life what in the conflict that you have and doubts you can just turn your back on all of that and keep moving forward and what that will do to help is to have you in charge now we had the chariot before didn't we put you in charge puts you in charge and know that you can just move forward you come with the resource of being able to focus positively and move forward and what's on the bottom of the deck is the two of cups and that part of it all is when we're expressing ourselves we are connecting out to other when we're creating something we are putting something out to the universe to our to our fellow human beings that this is what I'm putting out there. This is a way that we can all connect. And um, that's what we come with it, that ability to create, connect. Or maybe what's just come through now is that you might end up doing, going and connecting with neighbors, friends, like-minded people and doing some sort of art class, writing class, anything that's creative for you. So I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to know if you could leave in the comments what you're doing creative at the moment. What are you thinking of doing as a creative project? Um, are you getting downloads of information of going, mm, I wouldn't mind taking up drawing or I wouldn't mind doing the pottery class or something. I'd love to know. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.